in September. In yeah. September, um, how do you deal with that? Uh, the office is for four, so uh, you do the math. No. And you have managed to squeeze eight persons in your office, yes. if I'm not mistaken. A Sixteen is not possible. No. And Sometimes I have to sit in the in the lunch room. <laughs> and you're not going to rent a second office. No. No, we uh, we leave um, the first of July. Okay. Yeah. That will be a sad moment for Utrecht Inc. because one of the uh, graduates will be, uh, or one of the uh, startups will be flying out. We call that, uh, he's becoming, they are becoming a graduate. Uh, and, and from our side, it's also part of the, of the strategy because uh, in the end, uh, we cannot house the, the startups forever. Um, we say maximum period is two years and then a startup should be able uh, to live on its own. Uh, in those two years, uh, we offer them, uh, uh, besides the acceleration program and the network and uh, good coffee, uh, also um, the possibility to, to look around in, in Utrecht, eh? because uh, ideally you want to keep the startups close to, uh, close to where they are born. Um, if that does not, uh, if we do not manage in doing, in, in doing that, uh, the startups fly out. So you are going to Amsterdam, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. All right. Any thoughts from your side? Well, in the end, uh, there's a point that you have to move on. And I think we're um, contemplating a move, uh, depending on, because we're growing as well. Uh, we have a team of uh, 10 moving to 12, and we need to um, start thinking about location, because an incubator, as you said, uh, the offices are um, specifically designed for incubation, not yeah. upscaling. Who, who here in the in the audience has visited an incubator? Yeah. Okay. So there are more than half have never been to an incubator. Is is it fun to be in an incubator, or is it serious work, daily work? People get in at a quarter to nine, leave at five o'clock. Is is that kind of the atmosphere that you get across? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. no. I, th I think um, as we said before. <laughs> We need to be careful for yeah. the, uh, yeah. Um, there's, uh, it's work hard, play hard, um, and you co-create. So ultimately when you're together, and uh, we have these sessions on the Thursday where we have little pitches from each other, we see what, what everybody's doing. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have an, uh, an, a formal feel to it. It has a very informal high five feel to it, and we share celebrations as well. And I like the atmosphere. Okay. Same that goes for you as well, yeah, uh, Sander? Yeah, yeah the, the first day, uh, every Thursday, all, uh, yeah, one startup organizes uh, a drink and uh, he gives a speech about what his recent success was. So you're all really involved. And uh, also, uh, for example, uh, there are two other startups in, uh, in Utrecht Inc. Uh, working with, uh, with energy, uh, sustainable energy, solar energy in this case. And so you, you also change networks sometimes and uh, exchange network. So that's uh, yeah. it's easy. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yep. Questions for the guys? Yep. <laughs> well, it's also a question for uh, Utrecht Inc. because nowadays there are a lot of startups, and I also see a lot of startups struggle to become a sustainable organization or even to become a scale up. And uh, based on the stories of Utrecht Inc., what do you find when you see the startup? What are the success factors to become a sustainable organization? Hmm. Okay, I take it back. The <laughs> team, definitely the team. Yeah, yeah. Sander is mentioning team. It's yeah. exactly the first word I had in mind, team. Yeah. That the most difficult part of going from a nice idea to a bit of market validation and product market fit is building a team yeah. because you change like if you add one person to th a three people team, it changes completely. If you add one person to a 10 people team, it already changes slightly less, but the culture is so important. And it's the golden rule, uh, hire slow, fire fast. Yeah, okay, that sounds aggressive. No, yeah. it's, it's fair. It's not, it's not to, um, uh, it's honest, it's, it's transparency. So market demand and supply. In the end, if you wanna join a startup, I think it's also part of, um, that atmosphere. You want to be part of something that you enjoy. You don't just want a job and get paid and go home at five o'clock. You want to be part of something and if you feel there's not a perfect fit or not a, a good enough fit, then both parties should have the mentality at least to want to do what they do best and find their passion. Yeah. So that's a consequence of uh, willing to make speed. 
in your go-to-market approach? Ye to that extent, yes, but it's also to um, not uh, beat around the bush. So I know that some person that's not in their place in our company, he, won't, he or she won't become a happy person and do the best they can or be the best they can be. Yeah. It sounds very high over in philosophy, but it's es essentially, thank you, <laughs> I get a thumbs up. <laughs> it's essentially just working with people that want to work with you and not make a fuss out of it when you have like contracts and money. Uh, everybody needs to pay bills, I understand that, but let's do something together and if not, that's fine. Yeah, okay, Sander, team. Yeah, team. Regarding to, um, to get people on board of your team, is there a different approach to hiring people than for a regular or, or already being their company? I, I think um, yes. Depends pretty much on, uh, like, there's so many corporates. Uh, look at the Google uh, selection processes. Uh, they can be brutal, uh, depending on if you go for a, a position on the left side of their spectrum or on the right side, because the, the right side can be very sweet and very uh, much comforting. It depends on the role. But um, I think for startups, the, the, the philosophy always has to be to use your network. So uh, yes, you want to meet people on the go, and it's all about intuition. First three seconds, what do I feel? And then, okay, let's see if there's a relationship to be built. But um, use the network. People know people. Yeah, peop I think uh, even people, uh, in the first phase, people have to come to you because they love the idea and they have uh, love the they share the passion. And and the first people you uh, you find for your startup, they yeah, it's a long-term relation, and you really have to uh, yeah fit so uh, yeah y people should uh, should come to you and uh, yeah, and share the passion I think that's really uh, important and and how they do they come to you sh share your ideas in your network yeah yeah and I, I want to add to that um, uh, you can team up with someone who uh, is a very nice guy and with whom it's uh, good to have a beer in a bar but it doesn't mean uh, <coughs> that that is the guy that brings you uh, that brings your company to the next level. And uh, what we see quite often uh, at Utrecht Inc. that uh, failure, uh, thanks to founding team, uh, because founders are not uh, complementary to each other, uh, is let's give it a, st uh, a figure: 25% uh, of the cases. So it's it's very often. Only 25? I would say yeah. more than more than. More, even more? Yeah. Because uh, because some of the teams manage to go to us to get out of that and continue anyway. You mean? Ah, uh, uh, difficult. I think uh, if your team is not right, you're you're not yeah. gonna make it. Ah. No. No. Jörg, can I can yeah. I pop yeah. it back at you? Because you're starting a company. Can I? W what is your philosophy? What are you well, thinking? I am I am totally agree. I wasn't thumbs up in you, but no, I was I was nodding heavily. <laughs> so I'm I'm uh, I'm agreeing with you. Um, I've been working uh, for 14 years in another company, and I just left and I started my own now. And uh, while um, getting new employees on board and having the um, all the, the the talks with with everyone in my team and everything, I totally agree. But now we are at a phase that we are with the two of us, and my my partner is really complimentary. Perfect. Um, she's totally different than I am. And I'm the tech guy, and she's the the marketing more CEO like uh, uh, person. But I'm, or we are struggling with how to get the right people on board regarding to the the technical part. Because right now I'm developing everything on my own, and it's really difficult to to find people to to bounce uh, ideas against. It's difficult to 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 um, make decisions that will highly impact the, the the direction of our of our platform. So I can put everything into um, Yippianica language, yeah. but then it's not really um, um, the right way to, to explain to her what, what's the decision. So I am actually looking for people with a more of a technical background, but you cannot just bump into a person, have the right intuition, ah, you're the right person to get onto my team. So yeah. I'm, I am looking into my network and I'm tapping into new networks as well, but I'm not there yet at the moment. If, if I can uh, just add to that, because for you, I say uh, hire slow, fire fast. Mm -hmm. For you, it's mi maybe a different approach slightly because um, you don't have a very strong culture already. So there's also a bit of touch and go there. You can, um, at least I've seen, uh, I've been part of a startup, a uh, previous startup that um, hired very quickly and um, let people go 
fairly quickly as well, but in a good sense. So payment was all right and, and reimbursement for whatever work was done. But um, because you don't have time to really go through a long phase of hiring people, for your phase, really in the initial phase, um, depending on if it's going to be an employee or co-founder, because that's uh, an aspect there, and if you have money to pay them or they want some equity, um, there's more of a um, market-driven, let's see if it works, let's give it a week, and if it doesn't, that's okay. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the, we have a similar situation with some of our uh, business mentors. He's just a person who sold his company, has time and money left, and he says, well, without, um, without paying or wh whatsoever, I will just help you because I like your cause and what you're doing. Um, yeah, so I, I, um, I think you're right. Yeah, thank you. Um, what I would like to add to that is uh, what gave me uh, a lot of added value when we confronted the situation that the team was not working uh, perfectly well, the co-founding team. Um, we decided to bring in uh, management drives in this case. Uh, so it's basically an uh, analytical tool for uh, what your uh, um, motivators are in the job. So you can easily compare and you really come to, to the conclusion, oh, wait a minute, are you like that? Uh, if you're like that, um, you're, I'm very allergic to that kind of uh, people or that kind of uh, traits. Uh, and in the end, uh, that uh, made us um, uh, force the decision that one of us left. Yeah, so it can make you aware of a situation. And my advice to all the startups uh, is uh, do this before you start working together. Although uh, I like your face, although I can have a good beer with you, I can have a laugh with you, also validate that the person is really uh, complimentary. Yeah, right, uh, more questions? No? Then we go back to the, uh, to the startups. I think we have five more minutes. Um, what I would love to hear, we've spoken about uh, funding. Huh? You, uh, you have mentioned that uh, uh, funding, of course, is, is very important. You've spoken about boot, uh, bootstrapping. Uh, Sander, uh, you say that you're moving to, uh, to Amsterdam uh, most probably very soon. Uh, you will be paying much higher rent there. Uh, you've managed to get an investor on board. What, what is your next challenge? Uh, suppose these guys can, uh, can uh, bring you help. Um, what would you be asking for? Um, our, um, as I explained earlier, uh, we first have this implementation phase, we, we call it, and we have to connect to, uh, to a new client. At this, uh, at this uh, moment, it takes us approximately three months to do that. It's really long. So this is not a standardized solution. And our challenge for this year is to, uh, to do this three months in a day. And therefore, we, uh, we are working really hard. And uh, yeah, we are also uh, looking for, uh, for people who can help us, technical people, because that's, that's really our challenge. And that's also the reason, um, maybe you've heard it, the, the gap you have to go through. At this moment, we have- The value of death? The value of death. We have not a, uh, a business model that's working. At this moment, we are losing uh, money on a client instead of uh, winning. So uh, that's the reason we, uh, we now need some money to develop the product to a next phase that we can start making money. So you're looking for human capital, basically. Um, the euros are on, on the bank account. The euros are there. So now we are looking for uh, uh. Yeah, extra people. Uh. And for you, uh, Nicholas? Um, well, we're in a luxury position that we uh, know we have a product that um, is being paid for by universities. So uh, now we're uh, looking for going uh, abroad. So finding launching customers, I'm sorry, I'm going to stand here. Finding launching customers in other countries, uh, validating our assumptions on our product there as well. That's my role uh, specifically. And we've just had a whole um, kind of uh, restructuring of our internal processes because we've grown quite organically, uh, but quickly. And now we've really defined, okay, we need a couple of domains. We need to know that's your domain, that's your domain. Everything is centered around the client. What does the client need? But you need to be scalable. So we've done a scalability phase. So now we're really internally structuring to, to grow and expand abroad. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, I mean, when I hear this, I r always get a smile on my face. Um, let me ask myself a question. <laughs> what would you be looking for, Utrecht Inc.? Okay, good question, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, would I would be looking uh, mainly for uh, new startups. So if you have, or if you are a startup with a good idea, 
please don't hesitate to come over and drink a cup of coffee and uh, let's get to know each other. Um, that's one. Two, we're always looking for uh, contacts at corporates. Why corporates? Because corporates can be the launching customer for our startups. So that's the second. Third, uh, we're always interested to discuss with uh, venture capitalists, so uh, euros. So that means creating, forcing openings uh, for easy contact between uh, our startups and uh, the money. And uh, fourth, uh, if you're a good mentor, uh, please give us a call. Uh, our startups uh, are always open uh, for good advice. So uh, welcome to uh, visit us at Utrecht Inc. In, uh, at Utrecht Science Park for a cup of coffee. And uh, if not, give me a call directly. So basically, that is uh, the message that we wanted to give you in those uh, three quarters of an hour. Um, we have a few more minutes, so if there are questions, uh, give it the opportunity. Uh, hi, my name is Panos. Uh, it's mostly a question, uh, I am a junior, but I would like to be involved in uh, activities in entrepreneurship. Could you speak uh, up a bit? Oh, yeah, sorry. So I'm a junior, I, I am really interested in the whole domain of uh, startups and entrepreneurship. Uh, I want to have my own startup in the future, but I was wondering if at the moment I can um, yeah, do something with Utrecht INC to help maybe s as a think tank thing, like a, maybe I can brainstorm with you or uh, yeah, just offer my help or something like that. Is this possible? I don't know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I believe that is a direct answer uh, to the question uh, that I, uh, that I uh, asked earlier on. So yes, I give you my bus business card afterwards. Thank you. All right, no more questions? No, then I thank you very much for your uh, presence and uh, you know where to find us. Uh, on behalf of uh, Senfal, on, be on behalf of Stukom, and on behalf of myself, uh, thank you. Thank you.